Rising from the ruins of an ancient temple complex on the small island of Samothrace lay an elaborate sculpture of a winged goddess atop a battleship. The iconography indicates that the ornate sculpture was to celebrate a sea battle and the goddess Nike. The monument was dedicated by the Rhodians as an ex veto in commemoration of a specific naval victory. However, it remains a mystery who commissioned it or for which sea battle. The Greek goddess Nike was the personification of triumph but known to the Romans as the goddess Victory. The winged Nike of Samothrace was skillfully sculpted by Pythonictos of Lindos in Rhodes around 220 BC to 185 BC. Nike towers to an impressive 2.5 meters, but combined with the base she reaches a staggering height of 5.57 meters. The offering of the statue is perched high on a ship as a religious act to honor the gods. The placement suggests the work was created to be viewed from the front left-hand side, indicative of the less intricate detail on the right-hand side of the body. Similar to the Hellenistic boxer, Nike is caught in action with the wings extended back in flight and the use of drapery used to capture this precise moment. The goddess is easily identifiable due to her distinctive portrayal in art. Nike is often depicted presenting a wreath of laurel leaves in accordance with Greek mythology, where the goddess would fly over battles ready to reward the victors. You can find her today in the Louvre where her presence ensures that her legacy lives on. Modern brands have been inspired by what the goddess stood for and represented. The founder of Nike Incorporated, Phil Knight, was motivated by Nike's relationship with victory in the athletic games. The culmination of this ancient sculpture and the modern symbol contributes to her being hailed as the greatest masterpiece of Hellenistic sculpture. <laughs>